So this is the completed article in which we were able to get back by using that method on Harpo AI. And in terms of word count, this is 4,000 words. So this is a very, very long article that we were able to generate. And it really didn't take us that long to generate this um, article. So I'm very impressed by this method. Um, it's very, very effective at allowing you to generate long, high quality articles using Harpo AI. Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be attempting to write a 2000 word article in less than 10 minutes using only Harpo AI. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you watch my previous video, you saw that I combined Harpo AI with ChatGPT to generate content um, for a blog post. But in today's video, I wanted to see if we can generate a high quality SEO optimized article all within the Harpo AI extension. So there's a couple of ways in which we can go about doing so. The first way is just by accessing the Harpo AI extension. If you don't have this Chrome extension, I'll leave a link for it below. But once you have it installed, you just hit the Control A button or the Alt A button on Windows and the Harper AI extension will show up. And once you have the extension opened up, there's a couple of different prompts in which you can use. We have the Outrank SEO article, which allows you to create articles that outrank your competitors with an in-depth and SEO optimized article. In order to use this prompt, we need to go on a website or a web blog page in which we're trying to outrank. For this example, we'll be trying to create an article that outranks this specific article by The Motley Fool, which is the five ways to earn passive income in Canada. So we'll go ahead and open up the Chrome extension and then we're going to use the Outrank SEO article and I'm not going to write a name of a product or shortly describe it. I'm just going to go ahead and click enter and Harpa AI is going to read this page and then it's going to write us a new and unique article. Okay, so this is the output in which we were able to get back from Harpa. As we can see, it was very quick, but it's not um, long by any means. It's about... 580 words so a little bit less um, in terms of the target word length in which we're going for but we can see here that it's a pretty well written article we have five lucrative ways to generate passive income in canada what is passive income okay it looks like it kind of just copied all of the content here from this web page so of course you don't want um to just replicate content from your competitors you want to create content that's much better than your competitors if you would like to outrank so um, I would be very careful with using this mode. You can probably use this mode and combine it with a content rewriter, or you can expand it using ChatGPT. But to write a blog post just in Harpo, I wouldn't really necessarily recommend that method. So if you would like to access some more content generation specific templates, just head over to the copywriting section. And as you can see here, we have a variety of different ways in which we can generate a full article. We have the article outline markdown or the article outline MECE. So this will create a content outline for our article using this framework. And then you can then go ahead and tell the AI to generate the full article um, using that outline. You also have the blog post from topic, which will create a blog post from the given topic. But again, I would be very wary with those one shot blog post generators because you don't really get long and in-depth content. So let's go ahead and start by using the article outline MECE and we'll generate an outline for this specific um, blog post in which you're trying to rank for. Okay, so we're gonna paste the article title and it should give us a nice um, outline in which we can use to write. Okay, so here's the full outline in which we got back. And as we can see here, the word count is between two to 3000 words, which is pretty long. We have the intro, we have some specific blog post sections, we have an FAQ and we have a conclusion. So I would consider this to be a very, very good outline. So once you've generated your article outline, just hit the slash icon, head over to copywriting, and then you can go ahead and generate sections for that specific outline in which you created by using the article section prompt. So again, I'm going to paste that prompt and let's go ahead and read the instructions. So we need to please copy and paste below a single section of the article outline. You could generate an article outline using the article outline command. So we've already generated our outline. So now all you need to do is copy the section. So we're going to copy the intro. So we're going to paste that in there. We're going to remove the word count and then we're going to go ahead and click enter. Okay, so we get the introduction, we get the dividend stocks, we get the explanation of what REITs are, peer-to-peer -peer lending, and we get some um, FAQs here. Okay, so pretty good content. So it seems as though the AI started to write about some other topics such as section number two and so on. So that may be an issue where it wants to kind of jump the gun and write more content 
for the other sections. So let's go ahead and give it another try to see if we can only ask it to write um, for this specific section. So for this example, I used the same prompt, but I just pasted the introduction and it was able to give us a pretty good in introduction. So you may have to go one by one just to make sure that the AI um, sort of writes only about what you would like it to write about. So now let's go ahead and do explanation of passive income. And let's see if this method works by selecting only one section at a time. Okay, so it seems as though you may have to do that if you want to generate longer pieces of content using um, these specific prompts in Harpa. You may have to go one by one because um, the AI kind of goes on the tangent if you just copy the whole section. Okay, so let's do the next section, which is the brief overview of the five ways to earn passive income in Canada. Okay, so we got some pretty good outputs there. So now let's go ahead and continue the same method. We're gonna copy over section number two and the first subsection, and we're gonna paste that in. Okay, so you can see here, we're getting much, much longer content because again, we're restricting what the AI needs to write about. So it's not writing about a lot of content. So it's able to get really in-depth into the content that it is writing about. So for this one, I'm gonna copy all three of the last sections here, and let's see if it's able to only write about those three sections. Okay, so it did follow those instructions. It only wrote about those three sections and not anything else within our outline. Okay, so let's do number four. And again, for this one, I'm gonna copy all four of the section outlines. I'm gonna paste it in here and let the AI do its thing. Okay, so I've continued doing the same method, which is copying each section and paste it in one by one. But for this last section, I'm just gonna copy both of them, paste it in uh, just so that we can finish up this article because I do feel as though we were able to get a lot of content um, using this method. And if the AI stops writing mid-sentence, just go ahead and enter continue and it should continue writing. Okay, so here's the full output in which we we're able to get back much longer um, than when we use the one shot blog post prompt that was included within Harpa. So let's go ahead and do a quick copy um, to see how long this content was. So this is the completed article in which we were able to get back by using that method on Harpa AI. And in terms of word count, this is 4,000 words. So this is a very, very long article that we were able to generate and it really didn't take us that long to generate this um, article. So I'm very impressed by this method. Um, it's very, very effective at allowing you to generate long, high quality articles using Harpo AI. So now let's go ahead and run it through a quick plagiarism checker and also an AI detection tool to see how it kind of stacks up um, in comparison with plagiarized content and with AI content. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan this with originality.ai. So in terms of its AI detection score, it is 100% AI detected. I kind of expected that because we really didn't um, do any prompt engineering. And usually it's pretty hard for any AI rating content to get by the new originality.ai update. But again, I wouldn't worry too much about that number. In terms of plagiarism, it is 24% plagiarized, which is not too bad by any means. But of course, you would like this to be a little bit lower, especially if you're going to be posting this onto your blog post. So um, I would definitely go ahead and rewrite some of this content before posting it onto my blog post or my website. And you can easily do that with ChatGPT or a content rewriter tool. But overall, as you can see, it was very easy for us to generate a high quality in-depth article using only harpa.ai. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't used Harpa AI as yet, I'll leave a link for this Chrome extension in the description below this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.